What's up, y'all? It's Elias Freeze. And we're boy Todd. And we're uh, watching Slumber Party Massacre 2. <laughs> Alright, the movie starts off with a hunk boy montage of Funny Courtney Sweet. Chad Matt with the football. Yeah, out here like doing the fucking corny ass fucking breakfast fucking club shots where he's holding the goddamn football. Top gun volleyball ass shit. scene. <laughs> it's like playing fucking scenes from the first movie. And like like little backstory, Courtney was the twelve year old who walked into the what was it, the Craven house in uh, the first fucking movie. She Saw helped kill people. the original killer. Yeah. So Courtney is having a conversation with her mom talking about like fucking um Oh yeah, she needed to go see a therapist. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. of like uh because like uh the shit that happened when she was twelve. And like she was like, I guess she's like been like dreaming about her, like recollecting about it a lot recently. And she was like, Hey, are you sure you're fine? Do you want to go see a therapist? And she's like, No, I don't need a fucking therapist. It's fine. I'm just gonna go to band practice or whatever. Maybe you should talk about it. You'll feel a lot better. I go, No, it's okay. You know, I'll figure it out. When she's waiting out to go to band practice, there's a dead bird on the sidewalk. And she's just like, you know, having a whole fucking Vietnam thousand fucking miles stare at this fucking goddamn bird. And then her friend picks up. She's like, what are you looking at? And she was like, a dead bird. And she's like, <laughs> you fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. So like, they're on the way to band practice. And they see Chad Matt in the fucking car and shit. While they're having a dope ass fucking Tokyo convertible fucking jam session. Yeah. I wanna be the Tokyo convertible. And fucking, you know, there's like, hey, come to band practice. You're fucking hot. And he was like, huh, well, I am fucking hot. I'm fucking Chad, dude. Let's go to fucking band practice. So they fucking speed up to the fucking band practice and they have some terrible ass band practice. She got the pink drumsticks, right? Yeah, she got pink drumsticks. She's playing the fills all wrong. She's sitting on E minor the entire time while there's a whole solo section going on, bro. Fucking don't even know how to pretend like they're playing the fucking instruments, right? And then, like, after the practice, Courtney and then Matt, like, go and, like, have, like, this little conversation. Fucking, he talks to her. He's just like, hey, I want to ask you something. You want to go somewhere with me? She was like, actually, I was going to ask you to go somewhere with me. And he was just like... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and he was like, all right. So I guess like she invited him to go to the condo. They have like this like kissing scene or whatever after like them weird ass fucking shots of like zooming yeah. straight in on and fucking he's sitting over by the fucking tree and is like zooming into his fucking face and he's like smiling all weird and it shit was like real bad. Back to Courtney's crib and she's like uh, eating with her mom some nasty ass hamburger help some or stew. Oh, yeah, stew, 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 stew. But um, yeah, she eating that shit and then she's talking to her mom about fucking uh, having to go see her sister this weekend or whatever but she's like no i don't want to go see my sister i don't want to spend my birthday weekend going to a fucking mental asylum i feel that yeah her sister's all like you know like locked up in the mental asylum because she like went crazy after like the events of the first movie and shit like with the joy killer and shit. she drops the plate in that awkward ass scene and oh yeah she pretty much does because she like broke out crying and then like after she broke the plate was like mom i really want to fucking go and like her mom forgets that it was her fucking birthday and shit yeah that shit and was then, fucked up she's on he's she's on the phone with uh chad maticus like matt and the fuck when they're showing his side of the phone call dude he is not a high schooler he is a grown-ass man like he's chilling in a fucking like apartment yeah neon no, lighting dude, and shit and in his up. underwear just like oh yeah babe oh. <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> she looks adolescent as hell and this motherfucker is shirtless all beefed up look like he getting fed grapes but then it goes into this like hallucination like dream thing where she tries to go to sleep and it's like fucking you know her making out with fucking uh matt and shit trying to be all cute and shit but it also like fucking switches to like this fucking the new driller killer which is like this sick ass motherfucker with this crazy ass guitar slick black hair fucking leather gloves Some prince shit. ass shit like yeah, fucking dude. purple rain yeah he's like doing like dance moves and the shit the driller killer like seems to have like a hallucinogen type dream ability thing in this movie where he has like a presence in her head the entire time it's like some yeah Freddy Krueger shit yeah where like it like kind of like fades in and out of like where she thinks that it's real 
But she's it's like, like terrorizing her mind. Yeah. And who dies in the dream that freaks her the fuck um, out? Um, was it a? Uh, I think it was her fucking uh, sister. Pretty. Valerie uh, ends up in the dream and she sees the fucking the, tells her not the to fuck have fuck your couch ass purple rain boots pull up out of nowhere. Yeah, she's like, don't go, don't have sex with him, blah blah blah. Felt like a dare commercial. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Like. Then it go, it cuts to the next morning, right? Yeah, and the next morning where like her like mom's like, okay, be safe, blah blah blah, I love you and. They all like hop in the car and they have She's another, like, oh, yeah, yeah another really bad fucking <laughs> car singing scene. And then it like cuts to a scene to where she's like zoning out, looking out at like the, you know, landscape and shit out the window and shit. And um, she starts like daydreaming. So she is, so she sees her sister again, like smacking on the window and she like wakes up from it all abrupt, starts screaming. They get to the condo. They're uh, trying to get all their like bag situations and stuff. And they're like looking around the house and they uh, go upstairs and find a uh, blow up doll that's in one of the rooms. And uh, they have like this weird conversation about how it's like, uh, I don't know what her name was. I forget her name. Yeah, it was her fuck's brother um, sex doll that was just sitting in, uh, that, like he uses and stuff. And um, <laughs> she was just like, oh yeah, runs in the family. We're all a bunch of perverts. It cuts to uh, them dancing and singing and fucking, you know, listening to that the, one song. They're like, oh yeah, fucking, the boys aren't coming through. It's girls night. So yeah, they start like, getting fucking drunk as shit. Drinking champagne, throwing fucking feathers all over the like, place. Hitting all the feathers out the pillows. This is where the fucking uh, first titty and only titty shot of the movie happens. Double titty. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Just like it's like long as shit too. She has like her shirt off for like a whole three minutes while they're just like dancing and singing or whatever. And then they hear something and previous to that, the guys are creeping on them through the window, and that's what basically what they hear is them. Coming I didn't know into girls actually did this. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. dude. She takes the fucking bottle of champagne and dumps it out, and it's just like. Why yeah y'all? So they fucking break into the house, do that whole thing where fucking uh he like pretends to be stabbed and like falls over and sh shit. Like, he like oh. jump scares her yeah. or whatever. Damn, I got the hiccups. He's honey hitting boy. <laughs> but uh Seal and TJ, you know, they're like having sex and shit. And fucking uh Courtney's trying to sleep. She's like, are they always this loud? And he's like, yeah, he's like getting better and shit. And, like it sounds like it's coming from in the room, but it's like upstairs and shit. She has a hallucination that night while they're f fucking and shit. She's dreaming about Matt, really wants him to fucking show up and shit because she's lonely, you know. They're like fucking, she's like just thinking about like losing her virginity to him and stuff. Pretty much like, you know, same driller killer making his appearance and montage. And next morning, they go to the pool and um, where she just doesn't feel good because like I guess the hallucinations are like fucking with her like uh, mental health and like deteriorating at her and stuff. Yeah. So TJ gets up and starts doing this weird like fucking well, yeah I know how to fucking you know get rid of he's like touching her tits and stuff. And like, like trying to like yeah. He's and like groping her pretty much and just pushes her in the pool. And she, like just like oh baptize all evil released or yeah, some shit. Yeah she fucking falls in the pool has another hallucination. And that motherfucker starts shredding while she's in the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Like, stop fucking with her, blah, blah, blah. So she goes and she takes a nap. She wakes up and her friend's like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't have fucking got so drunk, blah, blah, blah. And like, she's like, oh, I just like really don't feel myself. I might like, feel like I'm losing it. Then she's like, nah, man, it's cool. You're just like, you know, you just got fucked up that night. But the boys are making us lunch, so let's go outside. And then she goes outside and she starts eating fucking a kangaroo meat fucking sandwich or something weird. Yeah, shit. I don't fucking know. But she has like an hallucination that it's like, a hand inside of the shit and she freaks out and like throws it away and ah! and everybody like looks at her all fucking weird like what the fuck is wrong with you and she's just like oh i just had a weird burger it was like no it's just a regular kangaroo meat <laughs> yeah it's just a regular kangaroo meat burger and we're like what the fuck i really hope that this movie takes place in australia and they just don't be get eaten like imported I don't even think they eat kangaroo. kangaroo in Australia. I don't even know if they do that. I'm pretty sure they do, bro. I don't know. On the Barbie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she goes inside, and her friends are pretty much like, yo, you need to, like, chill out and relax. And she's like, yeah, like, I need to go, like, take a bath or something. She goes and takes a bath, and that it has like that uh, Nightmare on Elm Street like type thing where she's in the pool. Blood comes out the, pool, the drain. The tub. Yeah, blood comes out the drain. Starts so filling the shit up. And they're not shot of these fucking hallucinations at all. The driller killer, you know, thought I was saying, comes up with a fucking guitar and shit. Like, me, starts shredding again. And she like fucking sees all the blood and shit, freaks out. The blood's like seeping out the door. 
She like runs downstairs and gets Sally. She's like, yo, you need to come see this. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you and goes up and doesn't see anything. And she's like, yo, like for real, like what the fuck going on with you? And then they start going and having a conversation about her zit. And then she starts tripping again. Yeah, it starts cutting back and forth, and every with every cut to her face, her zit's getting bigger, and then finally it just fucking explodes, and all this yellow pus starts squirting out her face, and it gets all over her face. <laughs> so she runs downstairs, and she like runs to um, just the, her friend group and shit. And they're just like, what the fuck's going on? You know, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, obviously at this point, they're like, yo, this bitch tripping again. Yeah. So they go upstairs and um, nothing's up there. Nothing's up there at all. And they're just like, yo, like, dude, you're, you're losing it. And they can't. But then they're like, yo, where is Sally at though? She's gone. Is she fucked up? So they call the cops and fucking officer fucking Kruger. Uh, Kruger yeah. Officer Kruger, Kruger and his, uh, <coughs> and his, um, partner comes up more relation to friday uh, not not right another fucking, reference fucking, yeah, another reference a, to uh friday um no uh, nightmare, fucking, on, nightmare on elm street they're they're talking to them and ob- they're you know just stereotypical as dickhead cops just talking to her like He's oh like, bloody boy yeah boy. what did he say he was like he was like if you brats keep fucking around here i'm gonna fucking rip your lungs out yeah that's crazy what shit i was like whoa yeah and then uh <laughs> before they leave sally comes back in because she went to go buy more ointment and she met some dude that she was like talking to or whatever so they come in they're just like fucking like all like looking at her like come on dude like you're fucking tripping like courtney bro let the f- get the fuck out of here everyone's like all right well we're gonna go get food we're you know they're just like obviously not having it anymore at this point point. and then matt's like hey i'm gonna stay with you courtney so they go upstairs and you know they do their whole like fucking laying down making out thing i guess she's like fuck finally about to lose her virginity and then fucking uh, and he brings him birthday cake yeah he brings her birthday cake because it's her birthday yeah he doesn't blow out the candle because he was like you gotta make a wish and she's like it already came true that shit like they start making out the hallucinations actually become real because she sees the driller killer and he's actually just somehow in the room like just standing from, behind her and she's yeah, just shows like up what from the like fuck? the dream dimension or whatever <laughs> First kill of the movie, Matt dies. Gets a fucking drill through the chest. Drill through the chest. All the, you know, people come back and like, He's like playing the bass, TJ's playing the bass, and like, like Sally. Oh, yeah, dude, I can play an drums. instrument. I'm in, oh, yeah, yeah, and then fucking Courtney is all tweaking out, runs downstairs. This time, it actually plays you because you're like, oh, it's just another fucking hallucination. But when she runs out the room, she actually has blood all over her arms and shit. You're like, oh shit. Yeah, like, this is actually real. They, she comes down the stairs, everyone's like, what the fuck? And then bro just like, fucking comes dancing down the fucking stairs with his guitar. He's like, yeah, dude. And you know what I'm saying? Playing like some riff. Does this little jig towards fucking Sally. And Sally bags herself up into a corner way before that he was even close to him. And like fucking had hella time to run away. But she just keeps backing up into this corner and stays there. And that's uh, straight through the wall. And they're on the phone trying to call the police. Yeah, and, and the drill like fucking, he stabs Sally with it. And like fucking goes through the fucking wall. The phone and it fucks up the phone. So the yeah. game call the police. And police are like, Kruger's on the other phone line, by the way. Which I don't know why he's a police uh, like officer. And also answering the phone calls to the police. He's just, the, he's just the, the whole phone. police department. This is just one <laughs> officer for the, the whole police. Yeah, he just does it. So he's just like, I'm not fucking doing this. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 and then it, the co- phone gets cut off and they're freaking the fuck out so they end up running out the house Sheila and TJ start booking the fuck out and they're trying to get you know help from neighbors or cars coming through the neighborhood nobody's listening she's freaking out you fucking asshole blah, blah, blah. and then they yeah. start fucking booking it again he also has a slice on his leg which is all fucking camera you don't ever see that happen he just out, out of nowhere has a slice in his leg then um it cuts back to the other people the other um three and they're chilling around that corner and they're like you know oh, Courtney, shit, jeff like, and uh, amy yeah and they're chilling around the corner they're like spotting shit out they're like okay where the fuck are we going to go what are we gonna do they get back into the house and see the dead body and they're like and he fucking opens up the door for a second he's like oh <gasps> And then closes it real quick, and he's yeah. like, "All right, three, two, one, we're gonna go." And then he opens it, and then like waits for them to run out first, and then he follows them. And it was like, "All right." 
So they run out and get in the car. The car's not starting. Typical, like, you know, horror movie scene. Car won't start. Keep starting it. And then finally it starts, and they're like, oh my god, yes. So they start driving off, and they're hysterical, losing their shit. My boy come out the back seat. He's like, <laughs> this is dedicated yeah. to the one I love. And they're like, what the fuck? This and he fucking... just shoves the fucking drill through the front seat <laughs> of the car, just impaling him. And he's like, ah! Freaking the fuck out. So they all dip out of the car, and he's just getting fucked up in the car and they, they run away and it just has this panic shot of the car and then it goes back to tj and sheila they're like banging on the fucking like this, some neighbor's house or some shit yeah and then like fucking when like the dude is like i guess coming to the door bro like just appears behind them like fucking fast as shit yeah the camera's a doo -doo 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 -doo. Which, which also kind of adds like to the power natural power yeah because he's like able to just like go from point A to point B so fucking quickly and shit. Fucking just comes behind fucking, uh, what's his name? TJ fucking drills his shit. Same fucking type of kill. That's like the rest of them. Yeah, it's just all like through the chest. Through the back or through the chest. And then fucking, uh, Amy runs away. Not Amy. God damn. Sheila runs away all scared. And the fucking dude comes to the door and he's like, oh, fuck these fucking fuck kids. kids. And then it pans over to him just laying there all fucked up and it was just like oh damn <laughs> after, oh yeah after, they went yeah, back after to the her house boyfriend dies she fucking books it back to the house and then she's oh, freaking I remember that out. and he's okay. having the rockabilly scene okay. and shit when amy and uh, courtney house, are already in the house yeah. and they barricade themselves in the room i put in the fridge in front of it and so sheila runs in and yeah she's like all like tweaking out and the driller killer's like right behind her. And, and she like, runs upstairs and she's like trying to find out where the rest of the, where the two other girls are. And he like turns on the fucking neon lights in the house and then turns on the like the music, the like record player, whatever the hell. He dances for three mi minutes Bro, straight. It's such Let's a long the scene. song play out. He's like fucking break dancing, doing spins, like fucking doing, doing crazy some like shit. prince dances and shit. But like, yeah, that shit goes on for a really fucking long time. Like, whoever cast was casting in that role, like, had a great fucking time for doing sure. that shit because he was just killing all them dance moves and shit. So you know, goes up to Sheila. He's taking fucking. a sweet ass time dancing with the guitar. She's freaking out of the door, banging on the fucking door and shit. Like, let me the fuck in. It takes and, him so long to move the fridge. And then, by the time they move the fridge, they realize that he's there and hear the drill and noise. Then and then back. they put it back. And it's like, oh, shit. So, Sheila dies. And so, Driller Killer comes, you know, drills at the door, breaks through the door. They're already able to dip out. They run to this uh, con construction site. And out the rooftop, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he comes through, he's drilling through the door, and they break out to the rooftop. And then out of nowhere, it cuts through this crazy fucking like scene where, scene he where he's got sunglasses on, smoking, a, smoking cigarette. a cigarette, and fucking shredding on this roof, dude. And it was just fucking insane looking. So he it kind of like has like this weird like fucking like not really like a chase but it kind of just like cuts to like fucking amy and courtney running through this fucking uh house like, being built and yeah shit. construction site end up hiding on the second floor and he's coming through the first floor and, and he's just like looking cool and shit in the camera angle he smokes a cigarette lights a cigarette and then he gets a drip on his hand he's like what the fuck so they're up and there he looks up and he's like oh okay so then it cuts to them sitting up there like thinking they're hidden and shit and then the drill comes through the fucking floor and they're like oh my god so it has that scene where it's just like going like fucking fucking everywhere yeah. from different angles and shit yeah and uh she amy and courtney start running fast as shit cut to a corner where I guess Amy fucking trips or something. But she trips, but she damn near fucking she, climbs she, she that She jumped shit. off that shit. Amy, Amy, you're so much Herself, basically. She just fucking <laughs> jumped off. She's hanging up on the shit. She's like, help me, don't let go. And then fucking, you know, the man comes through. The killer, she's like, fuck that. She runs away. Dude comes up, just boom, slices her shit. Again, dies off screen. And then uh when she's running away, she sees like 
another hallucinization, which is like her fucking uh, just like real fast cuts of all of her friends being dead. Very anticlimactic from that point. Really fucking fast. Abrupt as shit. Yeah, she goes, climbs up on this shit. He fucking follows her. Yeah, he's like behind her talking to her. He's like, I had to kill her because like she broke my heart and blah, 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 blah. She's in there. To, he's like terrorizing her and she like grabs the um the welder or whatever. Helium tank. Yeah, the helium tank. She's like, oh, you gonna light up my world or something with the, like the cigarette in his hand? She's like, she's about like huh, to. I'm about to. And then fucking lights a lighter to it and then burns him. The worst CGI fire you'll ever see in your life, dude. A fucking him burns up super fast, falls off the fucking... And then it's like three different cuts of him falling. And then instantly fades into the next day. She's fucking standing in those like fucking same blankets that they give all the fucking victims that gotta go through all that bullshit. It cuts to her making out with Matt. And then it's like another hallucination. She's making out with Matt. She, and then the Matt dudes, turns into the killer. Yeah, the killer. And then it goes into her in the mental asylum. And she's like freaking out in the mental asylum. And, and then, then the drill, the comes, through drill the whole, comes through the fucking And floor. then it just cuts the credits. Yeah, so it's just like, I guess that she was just hallucinating all those things standing outside. Because like, it, she, it just, doesn't make it's sense so that she's fucking in the mental weird. asylum. It's because so like abrupt. the drill comes through and shit. But, yeah. And we, we ran that shit back like three times just to kind of understand how that ending went because we couldn't. It, it was just so quick and it was like literally five minutes. Afterthoughts. I mean, first 50 minutes, hilarious as shit, but it was like damn near softcore porn. It was like intro going on for the first 50 minutes. Worst fucking pacing. It was terrible. The first kill didn't even happen until like what, 51 minutes yeah, in? Yeah, it literally happened 51 minutes in. And, and that's like, Matt just getting drilled through the yeah, chest out of nowhere. Yeah, like, had to fucking just, you know keep pushing that shit the whole time really the most entertaining part of the movie is like the last 25 minutes and, and that's I him just killing i everybody. loved every scene where fucking the driller killer was just like all rocking out dude, yeah just like dancing and shit or even like when he would just show up in the dreams or whatever but and just like say than, those cheesy ass fucking quotes i wish i could remember more of them but like it's it was just definitely it. hilarious he was I, honestly he was the best person in that entire movie he yeah, was awesome he was sick shit. as shit really cool um another thing i did not like about the movie was like is how forced a lot of like the bad acting was like of course it's ironic and shit but like they really did not even care the the fake crying dude like there's a couple scenes like the scene when they're calling the police and she's like <laughs> i mean i don't know I'll, I'll, the same reason <laughs> i don't like, like it is the same reason i love it you know yeah yeah exactly like, it definitely like adds to everything it's bad but, but it, you watch it because it's bad because it's fucking hilarious yeah, it's, it's not really it's not meant to be scary it's just funny and if you like slasher shit and you like something that would make fun of it then it, it's a good movie to watch yeah i, I, I definitely put it on the first one but like the, it's, it's still definitely a good movie it's like a really fun watch if you just want to you know drink beer with your friends you know what i'm saying Smoke laugh something. your ass off yeah just like you know i completely recommend doing it it's a, it's a great watch it's a fun movie um, just goofy as shit. And, and the way that B slashers go, I'd give it like a 5 out of 10, 6 yeah. out of 10, something like that. Same here, 5 out of 10. Solid movie, good time. You learn some fucking dance moves from that dude. <laughs> I'm Elias Freeze. This is Rude Boy Todd. And this is our second installment in our series, 640s Deep. Drink some hands to it, smoke some. We'll see you next time. Peace.